Hello everyone, it's week 20, the 20th consecutive week of devlogging. In this week, I have worked on the new skill tree, which I will go over in this video. If you feel so inclined, grab yourself a cup of tea or any beverage of your choosing and let's get into this video. In previous versions, the way leveling was handled was through 9 skills. We had vitality, endurance and wisdom among others. They all gave you a certain stat bonus in the form of a percentage buff. But that's boring. So ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the one, the only, it's the new skill tree. And this is only the beginning of what is going to be an elaborate web of not only buffs, but abilities as well. When I added the first skills, I was inspired by the way Mountain Blade handles leveling. In Mountain Blade, when you level up, you get points and you can use them to increase certain attributes of your character. This can give you stat bonuses or give you more inventory or anything like that. After like 50 levels you do end up with a specific type of character so this would be a valid option and it's the way that it was handled in all the previous weeks, but I think skill trees are way more fun. Both of the systems have their strengths and weaknesses, but when you just have a number that you can increase every level, you can envision what your bonus is going to be at the certain levels, but with a skill tree you can look at the farthest away skills and when you actually get there you would have accumulated all of the other skills on that path among all other buffs for your character so who knows how powerful you'll be at that point. So I think it's way more exciting to have a skill tree in your game than these percentage buffs. However, that system works fine as well. This is my preference. This is just the beginning of the tree. I want to add special types of skills and really powerful ones at the far edges. Some of the skills have multiple levels. This is a good way to add more powerful versions of the same skill without repeating them over the skill tree, which would take away from the level up excitement if you just like have more stronger versions of the skills that you already have. That would be kind of boring. You can hover over the icons and you'll get the title and the description down below. If this looks a bit familiar to you, then that might be because I've of course taken some inspiration from the way Skyrim does skills, but in Skyrim you also are allowed to add 10 points to either HP, Stamina or Magicka. And I'm not sure how I want to add um, those non-combat skills into this system. Uh, I think I want to add a branch that goes down and has skills with which increase your HP, Stamina, Magicka. With like a bunch of levels, so like 5 levels for your HP skill. And then maybe it goes down a bit more and then you have another like set of HP, Stamina, Magicka skills that are more powerful. But, and they have multiple levels as well, something like that. I'm thinking about, in the future, adding another skill tree or multiple ones where you can find skills that are specific to one type of character and that are really powerful and that you might even have to spend multiple levels on and that you have to unlock by doing certain uh, special quests or something like that. Like if you want to be a necromancer, which necromancer is completely not in the game at this point, but let's say in the future that's what you want to do in this game. There might be a few necromancy skills farther along the magic branch of the skill tree, but there's also going to be a necromancer faction that wants to do something very, very evil. I, 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 don't know, I don't know what they want to do yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. Anyway, to become an even more powerful necromancer, you can join this faction, which will give you specific quests to unlock certain powers, and you might then unlock the necromancer skill tree which will allow you to become crazy powerful, whatever that will entail, I'm, I'm, I don't know yet. This is just an idea that I got whilst working on the skill tree, and I think we're kinda halfway through development, but who knows, the time frame is one year, I think we can make that come true. So let's go over the a few skills right here. When you level up for the first time, the skill that you want to pick, and the only one that you can pick, is called Attunement, and it's the start of your leveling journey. It makes you feel lighter on your feet, and you receive a little effect that decreases your total weight. From there you can pick any of the combat branches, which are melee, ranged and magic, and then you can get more and more specific. The idea is that you start in the middle with some general skills and buffs that can apply to most builds, but as you go farther away from the center, it will get more specific and also more powerful. I want to bind this specificity to power, so there probably won't be a skill that gives you like plus 50% general damage output, 
but there might be a skill that will give you plus 50% damage with a one-handed weapon when you have a magic weapon in the other hand. And the idea behind that is that you've mastered this playstyle of magic plus melee, and that skill then will be the abstract representation of your mastery. And you can do that, and you would be able to do that with all other kinds of builds as well. Next week I think I will continue to develop the skill tree a bit to give you some non-combat skills to pick from as well as balancing the rate at which you gain levels but I will also move on from this and start on implementing merchants so that you can sell your items, buy better ones and become rich in the game. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, I'll see you around.